So what I wanted to do for you here today is answer a question that I got on TikTok yesterday, which was what tools do you use? Now I gave an overview on TikTok, a real quick synopsis, but I wanted to explain what each of these tools does in a little bit more depth so you can get a better understanding of why I like using them so much. So I use a number of tools, but one of the first ones that I use is called Miro. And Miro is a dry erase board where you can actually draw on it, but you can actually create your own custom images. And why this is so powerful is because this allows what we call disruptive visuals. And disruptive visuals are things that nobody's ever seen before. So it stops, it grabs their attention. And so the first thing I do want to talk about here is Miro. It's M-I-R-O dot com. And I will drop links to these things in the bottom of this video if you are interested in finding out more about these. A lot of these tools are free, or at least they come with a free version to begin with, um, which is where most people start. But what you can have is you can have many different boards within the team. You can use some of their templates, or you can freeform create your own which is what uh, I did in a couple of cases. But check out some of these visuals that I was able to create. This is one of my main boards within Miro. And what you'll see is I was able to create all these images from my program and from some of my systems all myself. And if you zoom in and take a look at these, these are not things you're gonna find anywhere else. And you know I can share statistics, and I can share icons, I can share all kinds of images. Just We as human beings can process information three ways. We can, we can process it audibly, we can process it in a written form, or we can process it in visuals. And when we do things in visuals, we do it at 66,000 times the comprehension level that we do when we do it in any other form. So creating visuals that you can show people like some of this stuff makes it possible for you to convey different messages. And you can just see some of the ones that I have done here. And some of these are screenshots. Some are things that I have made. Some of them aren't that great, but you get a chance to, to really create things that are uniquely your own. And it will import images, you can create images, um, or you can even use templates from other people and customize those images. So like when somebody gets my free training, if they go to setitandforgetit.co and they get my free training, then I give them this. And what's exciting about this is you can make this into a PDF and you can even put a link in there so people can not only get printable versions of the stuff that you have, but it's embedded with links. So it's really uh, a great program and it's kind of like Figma or it could be um, Keynote or even PowerPoint, but I think it just has a lot more flexibility. So that's why I really like Miro. So the second thing that I use is system.io. Now this is where I have all of my funnels so when somebody opts in, this is exactly what they're going to get. They come to the first page of my funnel. Now, the only thing they can do on the first page of this funnel is give name and email address and a little email uh, window pops up for them to give name and email address. And so, but once they give me their name and email address, it takes them to the page where they actually get to watch the training. And then once they watch the training, they have the opportunity, if they want to, to join our Set It and Forget It. It's similar to something you may have seen before, where it would be somewhere along the lines of click funnels. But I find with System.io that it is, um, it's very easy to use. I find it a lot easier to use actually than click funnels. And so that's the one that, um, that's the one that I prefer the program that I currently run. And so you can see my entire course is here. And 
All the modules of my course are here. I can add lectures to it at any time, but you can see each pillar is in there and each of my three steps within my pillar. So my whole 27 module program is here. Here I can add students, I can add modules, I can view modules. And so everything is self-contained. And that's why this next one I'm going to show you may only be temporary because I'm not sure I'm going to keep it. And that is Active Campaign. I started out with Active Campaign for email because I found that first. However, I'm finding that because System.io has everything that I need with an email provider, what I'm probably going to do is switch over to that because I like to consolidate. I like as many things in one place that I possibly can have them. And so I'll give you a, a look though. So I have all my daily emails in here and you can see, unfortunately, I've not been doing daily like I should, but I have all my daily emails in here. And then I also have my whole automation campaign in here. And what my automation campaign is, is it's the entire 10 email sequence. What you have to understand is your only job in business really, and I'm letting this load, but what your only job in business is, is to create an offer that solves people's problems, explain that offer through content, and then make that offer to them to solve their problem. And he who makes the most offers makes the most money. You're not here to be their friend or their buddy or just kind of entertain them. If you're in business, you want to make sales because you know you can help people. But it's create an offer, explain an offer, make an offer. That's all you do on a consistent basis. But you can see here all of this automation that is already set up. So as soon as somebody opts in, they opt in on this page, they go to this page. And on the sales page, if they don't decide that they want to start with the program right away, they're going to go into this series of emails here. They get a tag listed as VSL subscriber, and then we take them through the whole process of these emails. And the reason we do a whole email series is because 68% of your sales come from email. One of my favorite platforms is repurpose.io. And here's what repurpose.io does. What you do is you set up an account with them. This one does have a monthly cost rather, but you can see what I can do. I can connect my Instagram, my Facebook, my Google Drive, my LinkedIn, my Pinterest, my TikTok, and even my YouTube. Then once you're able to connect all of those different platforms onto this one software, you can set up what's called workflows. And these workflows allow you to interconnect the different platforms. I use TikTok as a base platform. So I connect TikTok to Pinterest and TikTok to Twitter and TikTok to YouTube and also to LinkedIn and Google Drive. When I post to TikTok, it automatically removes the watermark and then it reposts that video watermark free to Pinterest and Twitter and YouTube and LinkedIn and Google Drive and Facebook as well. As long as your videos are under one minute, you can auto repost to all of those platforms, but you only have to post to TikTok and then repurpose.io handles the rest. It just post to one. And if you're in a budget mode, like a lot of businesses are, you just post to one. And I think it's about $25 a month. And I've got a link on this one below if you want that as well. Um, just go ahead and comment that you would like these links and I can get them for you. But you just post to TikTok and then it automatically goes to all these other places. Plus, one of the most important things you want to do is you want to create a what we call content repository. And that's by hook. Make sure you hook it up to Google Drive. Google Drive will give you all of your content in one place. That way, God forbid, TikTok or Pinterest or Twitter or YouTube or any of these other platforms 
God forbid they ever shut you down because you don't own them. So they could shut you down at any time. But if you have created a repository by taking all of your content and in addition to all those other places, you're putting it on a Google Drive. If you have to start your account over again, you'll have all of these videos because otherwise, if any of these places shut down your content and you don't have all your content in a library somewhere, you're going to be starting from scratch and you're going to have to reshoot all of these videos. And you can see how many different videos and pieces of content that are stored on these different platforms and how Google has all 1783 pieces of content that I have created over the last five years. Google has it in the Google Drive. So it's really important to make sure you back that stuff up and repurpose.io makes that very easy. Now, what I'm actually creating this video on is a free tool that is called Loom. And once Loom loads, because of my slow internet here, I can show you that this is basically a screen capture. I also have Camtasia. If you have a Mac, you can use ScreenFlow, but those are paid and Loom has a free version. As you can see, I am able to share anything on my screen and you can share on your entire computer. You can share on a window or you can share on a specific part. And Loom allows you to do this both on laptops, desktops, or even your iPhone. The video I created earlier today from TikTok was on my iPhone. And so there is a phone version, which makes it very handy to explain things to people. You can teach with Loom. It's a really great tool and it's very easy to use because all it does is saves the video here in your library and then you can download it to your computer or to your phone and then you can share it anywhere that you want to share it. But these are the, the four main or five main programs that I use on a daily basis. I use Miro to create images. I use system.io to run my funnels as well as my actual program that I run. I use Active Campaign currently for my emails. I use Repurpose to make sure I can get it out to all the platforms. And then I use Loom a lot of the time to record my screen so I can demonstrate and teach outside and inside my program and answer questions for people. And again, giving them visuals. Visuals are so important when you're explaining things or you're teaching things, but when you can show it to them step by step, it makes it so much easier. I hope you've gotten something out of this. Again, if you want any of these links for any of these programs, uh, drop links in the comments below and I can get you um, any of that information. Also, if you have any other questions or you have any ideas for future videos, you could drop those in the comments below. If you like shorter form content, you can join me over at TikTok and you can subscribe here if you want to see more videos like this with longer explanations of some of the stuff that I use and how all my processes work. And if you want that free training, just go on over to setitandforgetit.co and you're going to get to see our whole nine step process that we share with you in this free training video right here. And it's based off three pillars. It's clarify, collect, and convert. It's a very simple three step process and it's going to help you find your perfect audience, your perfect message, give them the perfect solution and reach them in the perfect timing. But we will uh, see you on the next video.